Hey, what's up everybody? This is Priceless. It is September 22nd, 1.30 in the morning. I should be going to sleep because I have class in the morning, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, uh, just got done playing some Gears, Gears 3, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play some Resident Evil 4 for my Xbox. A lot of people might not have realized that this just came out, uh, but, you know, it did. Check out my hard drive. I got the new Gears 3 Limited Edition Xbox. Pretty sweet. And, uh... <coughs> Yeah, not a lot of not a lot of people may have realized that this just came out because Gears 3 just came out and a lot of people are, you know, on that. Let's check the controls. Good. I don't care. This is not an arcade game. This is on the games on demand. Um, but that's okay. You just won't get achievements for it, I guess. But that's all good. No one, it doesn't matter. I'm playing this game for the fun of it, not for achievements. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Corey, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Eh, sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. 
don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. All right, so finally we were able to, uh, <coughs> okay, let's check out the, uh, controls. I need to look at something, though. Oh, that's not that. Okay, so start brings up your inventory, which is different. And so does that. Okay, what else am I doing? Okay, back button actually pauses it. Uh, controller setup. Okay, I don't need to mess with that. All right, anyways, a little bit about this game. One of my favorite games of all time. Uh, why did they drive over the bridge? This r fucking wooden bridge, like, over... Look at this shit. Look at that drop. I would not have driven over that. And Never mind. But And they won't, they won't go into the fucking village with me, though. Let's talk to them before I continue what I was saying. Huh. Forget your makeup or something? What a dick. Anyways, yeah, one of my favorite games of all time. The first Let's Play I ever did was uh, was this game on the GameCube. I know some of you saw that. And those of you who did watch it really enjoyed it. So thanks to you guys for watching it. And hopefully this will get plenty of views, plenty of enjoyment, and uh, lots of happiness from myself and any viewers who happen to watch. And every time there's a cutscene, I'm just going to stop talking because I don't really like when people talk during cutscenes. Is there something over here? What does this say? Check. The guy post reads, Pueblo. Okay, let's uh, head around the back side. The controls are basically the exact same as they were for GameCube and PS2, so, you know, it's fine. Not a problem. Oh, how do I... Oh. Ah, that's weird. Okay. I'm gonna have to get used to hitting X, the X button to uh, knife and shoot. That's pretty interesting. Uh, let's check it out. There's, okay, never mind. I can't see in there. What I'm gonna try to do in this let's play is, uh, you know, try to talk about as much as I can, but not try not to be annoying. There are various small items on the shelf. Uh, I'm gonna try to find every little piece of treasure. Uh, I th I think I remember where everything is, and uh, I'm gonna try to do that. Another cutscene. Uh, excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Que carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lorgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Hey. No. Freeze. <laughs> I said freeze! I said freeze, motherfucker. No. 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 Back up. Oh, I like doing that shit. That's fucking cool. <clears throat> An easy way to, uh, to get used, or not, I don't know what I'm trying to say, um, a good way to conserve ammo, I guess, is to use that little trick. You either stab them in the leg or shoot them in the leg, and then you can, uh, walk up to them once they're, like, kind of stunned and on their knee, and you can kick them. Uh, certain enemies you'll be able to suplex, which is pretty cool. I'll do that later in the game. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize it. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Ah. Okay, I need to get used to, uh... He's not a zombie. 
Are you used to the controls again? And looks like they were they've killed a lot of people. Look at those maggots. Those HD maggots. Look at that shit. Now obviously I'm playing in a an HD widescreen on my HD TV with my HD PVR. Um you know, full HD, but obviously this game isn't gonna be perfect HD. It's not, it's not like they could um just Oh that's how I reload, okay. It's not like they could just perfectly um do it, you know. God, that's gonna be a little bit weird getting used to the, that button. Shit. Shit, 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 fuck. Oh, I don't like that. You get away. Interesting thing about that kick. Oh, shit. I tried to hit the reload button to fucking... Uh, sorry I'm playing a little bit bad right now, guys. The kick makes you, like, invincible to, uh, damage. Okay. Oh, really? There we go. Then finish it with a knife. Just try to conserve ammo. And, uh, yeah, the controls on this game aren't exactly ideal. Um, if you, if you catch my drift. They're a little bit clunky. But it's okay, because this is an old game. This is just a remake of the old game. And uh, it's not a, too big of a deal. Let's check this out. Looks like they're kind of fucked. Like, they straight up drove their truck off the cliff. Like, just trying to crash into these people. Instead of just getting out and uh, killing them, they just fucking straight up drove off. I hope they got out in time. Yeah, I don't... You know, maybe, maybe they did. Whatever. And uh, they took out the bridge too. I don't. Somehow the bridge is gone. That's, that's a little odd. She bulba. She. I don't know if there is a save point up here anytime soon. I think it actually might be right here. As a matter of fact, to be factual. All right. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and save it here and end this. Um, end it at this spot. And God, it's so strange. Um, I'm talking about. Oh, what the fuck? I hear the dog. I hear the dog. Okay, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go save that dog, and then I'm gonna come back and save the game, and uh, then I'll have a little bit of a a dog friend. And also, you can oh, fuck. I'm trying to aim with the wrong buttons, man. Killing the crows gets you uh, goodies. So for any of you, oh, also, I would. This game is a. Uh, 1600 Microsoft points or what is it twenty dollars? Oh shit wrong button So I definitely recommend anybody if you got the spare cash and you just want an old-school game go ahead and get that shit It's on a uh, it's on Xbox live games on demand. So check this shit out and uh, And of course subscribe to me and uh, watch my videos as I play through the game Because uh, I'm very knowledgeable about this game You know, it's a uh, it's one of my favorites of all time like I said before and uh, Yeah, I'm running out of things to say for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it right here and uh, just end it for tonight and I'll probably render this and upload it on the morrow which will be the 23rd or maybe a little bit later I don't know what I'm gonna I'm not gonna set a date because I've got a bunch of Gears 3 stuff I gotta post but uh, anyways I hope you guys enjoy this playthrough I, I end up doing hopefully I'll get used to the controls pretty soon but uh, it's all good I'll, I'll figure it out uh, thanks for watching guys and have an excellent day